manipulating the brain to change your reality with or without your consent. The Matrix is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. It's the stuff science fiction movies are made of. He's learned to But fiction is quickly becoming reality. This ape has an implanted neural link that reads his brain to induce him to play ping pong with a joystick. Neurotechnology is making extraordinary scientific strides to help those who can't speak or walk. Soon, Alzheimer victims may be able to recover memories. But just like nuclear power, it has the potential to be used maliciously. Everyone in the world is worried about the privacy of their data. This is nothing compared to the privacy of your thoughts. <laughs> so uh, technology companies, if they have access to brain data, they may be able to decipher the way we do it in mice already, uh, the intention of your, your behavior. Renowned neuroscientist Rafael Josti, the director of the Brain Project, says he has a duty to alert society. He's joined forces with like-minded Chilean intellectuals, scientists, and politicians to inspire the world's first narrow rights protection bill. It would protect Chileans from anyone intervening their minds without their consent and only for pro-life and humane purposes. It's the brainchild of Guido Girardi, who oversees the Senate's Scientific Challenges of the Future Commission. Neurotechnologies are the new frontier. They can read what's happening in your brain and what you're thinking, even your subconscious. That means that our free will is in danger. You are your mind. If someone can manipulate or control your mind or introduce ideas that aren't yours, you've lost your freedom as a human being. An exaggeration? Professor Justi insists neurotechnology is only one or two years away from decoding our thoughts and probably only another five to ten years from being able to change our thoughts and behavior. Your memory was erased. Just like in science fiction, the potential to manipulate political, military and economic systems is huge. Neuroethics lawyer Rosario Ramos says it's imperative to declare narrow rights and privacy as a fundamental human right on a global scale. It started in Chile, but it is a universal obligation. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights didn't include it back in 1947 because it wasn't an issue, but now it is. And if neuroscientists are right, there's no time to lose. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.